Hello and welcome to the Monday, January 9th, 2017 edition of the video blog from Stop405Tolls.org. Today was the opening day of the 2017 legislative session and with that they started the House Transportation Committee first meeting. Uh, in that meeting they had representatives from several organizations come and talk with them and give them kind of a state of each of their organizations including the Washington State Patrol and when they had some questions for them uh, I believe they were shocked by the answer they got and it was regarding the tolls and I, I think I'll just leave it for you to listen good afternoon I feel like we're getting everybody's coming back from being on school vacation <laughs> I'd like to uh, open up the meeting for transportation Transportation Committee for January 9th, 2017. We're going to have a work session today and talk about um, Department of Transportation's attainment report. Uh, we're going to talk with the Department of Licensing and also the State Patrol. So before we get into that, I just thought we'd go around and introduce ourselves because we have a lot of new faces here, some new faces. So we're here to answer any questions that you may have during the course of uh, today or any time during session. We can meet with you individually or collectively. I make my staff uh, at your beckoning call. Any questions? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was looking at the uh, numbers around DUI arrests and driving while using handheld devices, etc. And I don't see anything on hear about toll compliance and I'm starting to hear from people um, it, that they feel that there are people who are that it I've heard first of all that it's difficult when people get turned over because or turned uh, pulled over because uh -huh. they uh, it is hard to tell if you have uh, a kid in the car and all those kinds of things. So it's difficult for the troopers and then it's difficult for the person who's paying the toll and feels like someone isn't uh, isn't being fair and is, is abusing the system. And I just wondered if you had any ideas about what it would take to kind of help the tolling work better. Well, you know, one of the things we can do is sit down with the Department of Transportation and their stakeholders to ascertain for them how are things going in their view and, and what is it that we can do to uh, to assist them in making it work better. Uh, from an enforcement standpoint, you know, we're pretty much out of the business when it comes to the tolling situation now, and that's been turned over to DOL's uh, contractors to be able to help them with that situation. Uh, we're dealing a lot with them on the hot lanes uh, as well as the uh, HOV lanes where we, we receive citizens uh, reports of violations plus the troopers are out there paying strict attention to that particularly in areas where we have a historical uh, uh, base of information that tells us that we have a problem but in, in terms of the tolling situation we're that's not what in, I was talking about yeah is we're it, not is the enforcement of if is there um, someone who's using the toll lanes and is there a way for you to tell if there's someone who's using the toll lanes on the hot lanes uh, without stopping them and seeing if they have a little toll. well the troopers have you know they can make limited uh, visual observation as to whether or not they have the proper uh, tolling permit device in their in their vehicle be it hot lane or, or toll lanes or tolling situation right. when it comes to the bridge uh, but you know there's only so many of us out there uh, and there are a lot more violators than we have troopers present out there. So it's important that you know there's a, a system in place where the, the like a 1 800 line where they can call in complaints to DOT and then we'll in turn ensure that the letters are written to give them a warning and, and knowledge that we have information that uh, has been shared with us that they've been violating the lanes. And if they continue to do so, we'll take enforcement action against them. But on the day-to-day -day basis, uh, the troops are out there observing and then making contact when and where they do see uh, violations or potential violations. But I, I think it's worthy of a conversation. If it's, if it's an obvious problem, we can sit down with DOT uh, and discuss possibilities. Thank you. We're more than happy to do that. Are there any other questions? Well, there you have it. Just like Washington State Patrol Association President Jeff Merrill reported in an op-ed back in September of 2015, 
before the tolls were even in operation, there was no way for them to effectively or safely enforce the tolls. Add this to the long list of failures with the tolls and the problems that they present. I hope you found this informative. Until next time, cheers!